this is really strange because I have actually cast some of these little wheels in silver and I was hoping for some more complete ones like this I can cast and there's one right there I'll have to show you the little silver ones the silver necklace wheels I've made that's really weird it's like the last thing I made was a wheel necklace but yeah <laughs> Is that a sign? A sign I should make more. And weirdly, not far from this piece of toy, I found another kind of toy. It's a knuckle bone. And actually, an interesting observation about the knuckle bones is that you can tell which ones have been played with a lot because see the corners, they're all worn down like this one see how they're all like scuffed all worn right down on the corners that means someone played with this quite a lot before it ended up in the bin maybe it found its way onto the floor and someone has swept it up and put it in the dustbin and now it's mine this looks like a big button it is a lovely mother of pearl button. It might be too far gone. They get very crumbly. Yeah, look, it's gone very chalky. That's a shame. There's another pipe bowl here. And it's another heart. <laughs> I can't leave them behind, though. Hello! Hello. Okay, so we're in the woods. It's so beautiful in here. It's like a little mini paradise. Look. It is, on a beautiful day. It's a gorgeous day. And we're also planning to go down by the river. So keep watching and yeah. let's, let's do, do it. it. Thing strange here. It looks like bone. I don't know if it's a bit of a handle. Oh, okay, I know what it is. It's the end of a toothbrush. It says on there, look, the name of the maker. Something London, maybe? Yeah. Well, can't really do much with the end of a toothbrush. Here is a vulcanised rubber stopper with something on it that I can't read. And this looks like a buckle. Yeah, it's a, a buckle. Well, that's nice. A stopper and a buckle. And another cod marble. Fantastic, we're getting quite a collection now. And I found this piece of pottery and it's got a camel on it. I have never found one with a camel on before. So that's fantastic, look at it. <laughs> and it's purple. So I bent down here to pick up this spongeware and I found something exciting down here. It's a little eyeball, look, looking up at me. It's a little glass doll's eye. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's the pinched type. Yes, it's a pinched. I haven't found like the blown ones yet, like the round ones, blown ones. Mm, they tend to break more easily. Yeah, they? they do. So I think they're probably going to be rarer finds, but that is wonderful. Oh. And how, ma how many eyes have we got? This is maybe like our fourth or fifth eye. You might have enough to make, um, to put in the doll's head. It's really detailed well, it might actually. might have two of the same size. It looks lovely, it's a pretty it's colour. It's got detail, you can see like the... It's really deep blue. Yeah, there you can see the iris, the patterns in the iris. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm really happy with that, that's amazing. 
It's a little marble. Ooh, I think it might have been a plain marble actually because it's slightly pink. See that? It's like got pink paint on it. I thought that might be a bit big to be a, um, a baking bean. Here's a button. It's just a glass, a glass button. There's a bottle here. It's a jar. It's got oh polishing. Furniture. Terrazol. Polish, polishing furniture. I've not seen Terrazol before. Oh, what does that say? For, oh, Terrazol for polishing furniture. Oh, that's quite interesting. I'm going to take it, look it up. It's another whole one. But I have also spot a lovely bit of sponge wear here as well. More sponge wear. We're actually going to put these in a path at home. That's a lovely design, that actually. I'd make a good pendant. Oh, hold on. Can you see over there? There. Oh, there's another part of it, the same bowl. By the looks of it, take that piece as well, I think. There we go. Oh, since I kneel down, I see one thing and then another thing. What's that? It's metal, but I don't know what it is. More metal. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what this is. It's decorative. Yeah. Maybe off like a doorknob? Or a door handle? Well, I'll take it. I'm sure that I'll polish up beautifully anyway, whatever it is. What's this? Oh, it might be a, a watch key, a pocket watch key. It's probably got a name on it, but we'll have to clean it up to see. Yeah, I like it. An ink bottle. I don't think it's got anything on it. First lip ink bottle. Do you know what? I like it. So I'm going to keep it. Oh, I thought that was a marble, but. Sure, I think it might be metal. A hole in it. What's this? Oh, it's, a, it's a snail. <laughs> Not sure what this is though. This is a gall, like a. Oh yeah, it's wood. It's a like a gall off a tree. <laughs> Thought it was a marble. <laughs> That's a very old wrench I think not seen anything like that one before so a hundred years ago this whole area would have been a massive rancid stinking rubbish dump 
now look at it. Nature's reclaimed it and it's beautiful here now. Beautiful woodland. simple pipe ball um, oh and look there's a bit of brass there I think that's I think that's a buckle or just some ring thing <laughs> I'm not sure we'll take it anyway you know what we say about bits of random bits of brass you never know oh and another one Another pipe ball. It's got the heel, a heart, and a much of the stem as well. Oh, and you can see on there, look. Newcastle. Tenant. Looks like some poor bird met a sticky end. Hmm. Looks like a seagull. one of those little sauce bottles. I wasn't going to pick it up because we've got lots but not like this. It's first look. Look at the pattern on there. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. I absolutely love that. And look at the colour. The green. Fantastic. Mum says she's found an interesting bottle. What? Look. Look at that. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> My goodness. Isn't that amazing? That's, but where did you find that? I was just up there. I that is. lying there and it looked like one of those little yeah. bottles so I wasn't going to pick it up. I've not, I've actually not seen a bottle like that before. No, never. That is never. gorgeous. Isn't that amazing? That's beautiful. So, hold it up to the sun. I'll find some sun. You see that? Oh wow, look at the colour of it as well. I know. It's beautiful aqua. Oh, it's bubbly. That is amazing. I've never seen anyone now, else find one like that either. That is unique. It's the first time I've ever seen one like that. Yeah. Whether we found it or anyone else. Well, that's definitely going in our bottle collection. Fantastic. It's a pipe bowl. Oh, it's got something on it. Oh, it's a hand. There's a hand on there and a heart. It's a big heart on that one. Well, that's cool. A hand and a heart. This looks like a bone disc. Yep. And this would have been off a baby feeder or a baby's dummy pacifier. I love finding them. Bone was the plastic of the day. And look at this piece of slag glass. Look at that. It's like a work of art.
That's so pretty. See this little um, ring? Well, it's no longer a ring, but it would have been a ring. And it's made out of ivory. And it would have been, I think, a teething ring for a little Victorian baby. Some brassy looking things here, look. Oh, I think that's like a little lid off something. And that may be part of it. It's a blue bottle. It's a fairly uh, late one with its screw top, but it's such a lovely colour. Mm, I don't know whether to keep it. I'll ask Alex. It's like another ink. That's pretty. Not supposed to be taking bottles home, but you know, who can resist an ink? I just picked this up. That was sticking out, and it, I recognise that kind of clay, like that, that un. I recognise that unglazed as something that little figurines are made of. I couldn't figure out what it was. But look, it's a little person in a long wrinkly like nightgown or something banging a drum and the head's missing. That's all that's missing. There's the other arms up here holding the drum, look. There's a hand. Ah, oh, what an unusual thing. Might have broken off something else, I'm not sure. I wish it had its head. How unusual. But that bisque porcelain is a dead giveaway if you see that. Dolls were made of it and figurines. Fantastic. He's got a The rubber thing that the cob marbles would press up against on the inside to keep a seal, to make a seal. There's a button here. Is it any good? I think it's a bit far gone. I've also found a button. Oh, I just, Mum's just found a button. Everyone's finding buttons. It's a little bone button. It's nice and shiny still. Look, can you see the shine on there? in the ground for over a hundred years and it's still got a shine on it. That's another button. And Alex says she just found a button. <laughs> this is a mother of pearl. It's very crumbly on the back. Might be all right. You can see how powdery it is. Might be able to spray it with something to stop it from um, crumbling further. These are some nice little finds. This one is a piece of spongeware, but it's a little spongeware birdie, look. That is so sweet. I think it might have been a bowl because it's kind of, well, bowl shaped. And a bottle stop, which I think has something on it, actually. Mm, I don't know, Holbrook sauce. What's that? Oh. Oh no, I thought it was a marble. Looks very much marbly there, doesn't it? But it's not. Not sure what that was. Maybe out of a bottle. 
It's a bead. There. Oh, this bag keeps falling. Oh, look, it's got a little bit of moss growing out of it. Look, it's a miniature. That's what it looks like. It's like a miniature doll's house plant pot with a little plant growing out of it. Isn't that cute? Looks like a bit of um, brass or copper pipe down there. Oh, that has been, that is a whistle. Look at that, it's all got little finger holes on it. Little finger, but you, you know what? It's kind of like really rough. It's almost like a bit of pipe that they've made into a whistle. Can you see that? They've kind of like just been filed in. That is actually really cool. I've never found a whistle before. That is, that is actually a really cool find. Definitely something um, to clean up and look up when we get home. Oh, cool! That's not. I was honestly expecting just it just to be a bit of pipe. Well, it is a bit of pipe, but you know what I mean. It's an instrument. Have you found anything, Alex? I found a few bits of bobs, but look, this. Oh, a bit of pipe. pipe. Oh! Uh, <laughs> it's a whistle. It's a whistle, I know. That's cool, isn't it? Oh, We've never found one. That is cool. I like that. Yeah. I've just found a limb. And it's not broken like the little one I found before. It's about the same size. Isn't that sweet? I love the tiny little legs. They make good jewellery as well. You can cast them. I think Mum wants to make some dolls out of them actually. Had loads of gorgeous weather really I feel like we've been blessed it's been like this for like the last several weeks and everything's blooming and everything's gorgeous and beautiful it's just amazing it's a whole bottle here it says bottled in France and I know what this is this is um AJ white yeah look there we go AJ white limited a nice little bottle isn't it but i think we'll be leaving it we've already got some it's a good find for someone who hasn't got it because it's in really nice condition and down here is a cod marble it's a bit chipped but still it's still a cod marble pretty piece of pottery here the daisy on it It's quite well disguised actually as a pebble, but there's a pipe bowl here. A nice plain one, good for making it into a little pipe bowl cottage. So the riverbank's changed a bit here. 
At the bottom you can see the original riverbank level and then above that this big layer of mud which is probably from, from flooding and then above that you can see the layer of rubbish that's been dumped on the top. So that's quite interesting. And we have found things actually sticking out of this very bottom layer where the original level of the riverbank was, um, which is quite considerably older than the stuff from up there. So I have to keep our eyes peeled. Oh yeah, look, it's a little face. <laughs> it's like, ooh. Must have found something good. Yeah, it's shocked. It's like, <gasps> So I found a few beads down here, but they are microscopic. Look, it's on there. Can I get it? There. And I found another, like a bit of mourning jewelry. Where is it? Oh, here, look. See that little cabochon? Oh, I can't get it while I'm holding this. I think it's a bead, actually. Oh no, I dropped uh, it. There it is. There. It's That's a, tiny. I know, isn't it? And I found another one of these over here, but I've got to put these in the bag first. Oh, I can see it. There it is. Number two. It's getting buried. A steeny. Lovely piece of privacy glass here. I collect this, it comes in all sorts of colours. That's a lovely amber because I'm going to make things out of it, either like some stained glass work or jewellery. Something interesting peeping out from under the rocks here. What's this? Oh, look at that. That's interesting. Is it half a buckle? Some sort of hair decoration. It's like a, a buckle. You know, the kind that that would hook onto another bit on this side. Like a nurse's belt buckle. Oh, that's quite interesting. I wonder if that will clean up. Oh, I like that. Ah, uh, ye old faithful mod cobble. Just about poking out for this year's marble jar. Cod marble jar. Regular plain marbles do go in a different jar. We have a whole jar just dedicated to these guys because we find so many of them. And just behind me, the end of a slate pencil look. See where it's been sharpened. Now let's look around. Is there any bit of a slate board? No, I don't think there is. I found a mod cobble and a, a paint slencil. Oh, that's a shame. That would have been cute. Refine. <laughs> it's funny when you find just a random word. I'm, uh, I'm guessing it was refined. And it's my second cod marble of the day. And a little brass button. Oh, of course. There is a little brass button. There's always one of these. But has it got an interesting name on it? It's got something on there. I can't see it. Well, I'll have to collect, get that cleaned up. See if it's worth researching. It might just be, say, like, best brass button or something. It's a heart. Bit of an old uh, 
Play smoking pipe, of course. Oh no, a broken claw pipe. These are called egg and claw, because it's like eagle claws, look. And the pipe bowl looks a bit like an egg. This is so tragic, it's a melted morning button. <laughs> mm. R.I.P. It's quite cool. It's a bit of cloth here, look. That is over a hundred years old. It's still sitting here. Woven fabric. I wonder what it was part of. I first spotted this green look. I've just got stung. Look, old stinging nettle. Um, yeah, I thought it was green. And I think that was once part of something, but it's just it's not really anything now. Um, there's a little bit of chain there, look. A bit of brass chain. And then I saw a little bit of lead. I think it's a bit of a um, tin toy. But I can't for the life of me make out what it's supposed to be. I think that's a person. But what is this thing? I have no idea. Is it an animal? Maybe it's not a person. Oh, I think that is a person. Look, there's a leg. Maybe the head's missing and then an arm. But what is this? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I think there might be more metals down here because you can see little bits of green sticking out, look. Verdigree. Don't know what that was. Looks like a part of some jewellery or something or a, a tiny little buckle. So I have been on the hunt for little bits of metal and I found some. Um, we've got a little corset fastener. Um, they weren't strictly just for corsets though, but we just generally call them corset fasteners, but they're really just clothes fasteners. Um, and we've got some bag seals. These are made of, <coughs> these are made of lead and they would have sealed all sorts of different bags, maybe like a bag of wool or a bag of flour or a bag of a, a postal bag that had mail in it. Um, yeah, they were just seals that they put on the ties around a bag. So they knew that they hadn't been opened or tampered with. Um, yeah, there's those. <laughs> we, we always find a lot of these ones here because there used to be a factory nearby that used a lot of them. Um, this is just like a crusty lump, but I think there's something in there. You see the edge of something there, look. Could be a coin or like a button, so I'll keep that just in case. And the end of a spoon. Now I know it's kind of like a thing to make um, like rings out of cutlery. Um, so I was thinking maybe I should give it a go and try and make a ring. Because there should be enough there for a small ring. Yeah, I could make a ring up some of these like broken bits of cutlery that we find. So that's an idea. I'm going to give that a go. And here's a bit of lead or tin. I think that's like a little wheel, a toy wheel. Um, and then I found another one of those. I spot one over here. Look. There. A slightly different size. I'm not sure what they are actually. That. Oh, it's just a blob, a melted blob. But this is one of my favourite places to look on a strand line where the metal settles. Because you never know what little bit of metal you're going to find. You can find something really, really, really interesting. Now there's a bit of um, broken poison bottle here of course most of you will recognize um 
But as soon as I saw it, I had an idea. Um, the word taken, actually be taken, is on there, look. The complete word. Um, and I was thinking I could cut that out, just the taken bit, and set it into silver, a necklace. Maybe like put a little bezel around it or something. And then, yeah, you'd have like a little poison bottle necklace, which would be cool, wouldn't it? So I'm gonna take that and I'm actually gonna look out for other bits of broken poison bottle words like that. Or just words in general. Oh, that's a good idea. Got a new project. And um, I just noticed one of us is just crushed to death. That pipe ball. Rip. Oh, look. Can you spot the find down here? Can you see it? Oh, it's one of like our favorite things to collect. I love finding these. It's right there. Oh, oh, whoops. Oh, hold on, I'm sitting on a bit of glass. Oh, look at that. How beautiful, it's sparkly. It's a little button, a little press glass button, and that's its shank that's gone a bit crusty. We've had a little brass shank on it. And it needs a bit of a scrub. It's very like ingrained with dirt. But that's wonderful. Go on our little um, French jet button collection. It's probably have someone's dress or cuff or something like that. And I found another little um, baking ball, baking bean. But we have like so many of these and we don't know what to do with them. So I'm just gonna leave this one here, I think. everything washed up in the beautiful evening summer sun and we found some really beautiful um bottles well one in particular yeah it's very beautiful one bottle i'm really proud of um i've never seen anything like it before but we'll start with all the pipes we found look at them and these ones are all a similar style and so are these and these ones all have hearts on this has the biggest heart yeah. And that's got a wee little tiny It does, not it? There's quite a variation between the sizes. I know. This one here has got writing on it. And Alex oh, will have yeah. to read that because I don't have my glasses on. Okay, so I think I read it um, on the day. I think it says uh, Belfast. Yeah, it does. I think it says John something maker Belfast. I can't see his surname. Yeah, so we couldn't look it up, really. It's John someone, but it's really difficult to see. It's, it's not printed properly, mm. yeah. Yeah, but that's an Irish pipe maker, yeah. which is really cool. It's come from Ireland. 
And this pipe stem I really like because look, it looks like a tree trunk. Yeah. With the sawn off branches. <laughs> so that was interesting. Yeah, we as can well. make something with that. Yeah, we can. Uh, these are some of our tiniest things here. We've got some toys, we've got some beads, it's a little morning bead. Um, we've got the little doll's eye, of course, which is um, always a very welcome find. It's our fourth doll's eye. And um, we've got a morning button, a knuckle bone, which you also love, and a tiny leg. So I love all those little things there. Oh, and um, we had another look at this. I still have no idea what's going on here. It's someone bending down doing something. Yeah. If anyone's what? got any idea, they can put that in the comments. What are they holding? <laughs> it's like a massive broom. They're like bending down. They've got they've got no head. Yeah, that yeah, was a bit confusing great. one anyway. We got a nice little collection of different kinds of buttons. Yeah. And also a bone disc which probably came from a baby's dummy or a baby feeder. And sometimes Discs like this can come from buttons, mm. but uh, this one fits the baby thing, so yeah. I think that's off a baby dummy. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, and pottery. We, we actually picked up a lot of pottery. We did, um, yeah. For our uh, at-home project, but these were the ones we filmed because they're quite interesting. I love this camel. I know. That mum found. Like a camel. That would make a really funky we, necklace, wouldn't it? We've had toy camels before, but not a pottery camel. And a beautiful daisy, which would also make great jewellery. And I like these spongeware. Yeah, they're pretty. They would, that middle one would cut out really nicely if we wanted to make something with it. a spongeware bird. Oh, a little bird, yeah. We found a spongeware shwoo once, actually. Yeah, we did. A little did. peacock. Spongeware peacock. And glass also to make things with. Um... Yeah, they're future projects. And this is our metal display, some bag seals, a watch winder, that's a pocket watch winder. Yeah, that's cool. This is a ring off harness maybe, and that's probably off a harness. A bit of spoon, a corset fastener. I'm not sure what that is. No, I'm not sure what that is. Some sort of decorative thing. And we think this is off a belt. Um, there's a hook there, it would have... Yeah. In two separate halves. Like a lady's waist belt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, and... Don't... Oh, and I didn't know what this was. Um, is, and Alex reminded me it is actually off an umbrella or a parasol. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, this strange instrument here. Yeah. Which I don't think it was originally a whistle. It was a bit of maybe gas pipe or water pipe or something. Because there's a screw thread. Yeah. Well, the remains of it's been yeah. polished off. Uh -huh. A screw thread there. So, and someone looks like they filed away at the holes. Yeah. At the, at the pipe because to make a One, whistle. two, three, one, two, three. And that's how many there is in a tin whistle. But I don't know what's going on up here because... Oh, well, on a tin whistle unless, you have another... Unless they'd made a, a mouthpiece yeah. to go in there and... Or could it be a flute? I don't they know. They could have made a, wood, a wooden mouthpiece that went in there. Yeah. Or a bone one. Yeah, and that's maybe probably you're right. missing. But yeah. That's that unusual. Is a lovely piece of folk art, yeah. folk work. You know, someone's made that. Probably did a miner make it for his son or daughter or. Yeah, or a kid make it because they couldn't afford a they whistle of yeah. their own. It's, it, I love that. Yeah, that's really special. and There's something and, really human about that. And not like any other kind of instrument part we found before, because no. this one's handmade. Yeah, it's wonderful. Marbles, well, they're cod marbles of and course, clay marbles. Yeah. A couple of stoppers, um, vulcanised rubber and a swing top. And quite a few glass ones as well. Yeah. And then our bottles. Ink bottles. I had three, but I threw one away because it was cracked. Oh, that's sad. Um, this is a furniture polish bottle. Not sure what this is. Might Maybe be perfume. Perfume, yeah. It's had like a ground and stopper. And this. The best. Well, I think this is my favourite find. Yeah, mine too. Because I've never seen a bottle like it. No, it's like an ornery bare slip sauce bottle it's or something. Absolutely amazing. But look at the colour of it. And it's, it's bubbly. Decorated. I yeah, love that. Isn't fantastic. it wonderful? Yeah, I just love that. And that's going to go in our bottle collection in the window. Oh, also, yeah, special little bottles yeah, go in the window. This little one here, look at the bubbles. Look at the bubbles in there. Can oh, I love it when they're bubbly. Can you they're see really all those bubbly. little bubbles? 
So I love those. And this one here, we were wondering if it beat oh, the record yeah. for our smallest burst lip bottle. Oh, we... I've got it in my pocket. Hold Alex on. Alex has got the, um, uh, the last smallest that we found. Yeah, so this was found also this year, but we weren't sure if it was actually going to be smaller. And it's and slightly, We slightly. think it is. If we kind of like line them up. It's slightly smaller, so I think we've beaten the smallest burst lip bottle record. It can't get any smaller than that for a burst lip bottle, surely. Challenge accepted. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, lovely little collection of bottles here. I like your watch winder because this, because it has, it still has, I don't know if you can see it in the sun, but see the iron, it's iron on the end and that's the usually windy missing. bit yeah uh, yeah it's usually rusted away but this one's still attached just needs some further cleaning some coal miners pocket watch yeah winder. it's just like a cheap one that someone would have had attached their brass albert chain or something but yeah anyway that's what that's we've everything. got oh and the, the shades coming yeah, it's creeping the, the up sun on us is moving rapidly yeah setting <laughs> um so yeah we had a fantastic time. We did. And we hope you enjoyed coming along with us too. It was so beautiful in the woods as yeah, well. And was. down by the river. It was just like... Gorgeous the weather we're having at the moment. Best day. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. And we found some amazing things, I think. Yeah. Um, My favourite find... What's your favourite find? I think we already said about the, the bottle, bottle, didn't we? And the flute. And the flute. Yeah. Whistle. whistle. thing. Yeah, that's my favourite find too. Because yeah. it's, it's just... It's really special and personal little find, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And um, and it's so beautiful out here, look. Absolutely gorgeous. Lovely. Well, I can hear a plane coming. It's yeah, kind of ruining, it's ruining. Ruining the ambiance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the chickens are also having a great time there as well. Two, three. So we've had a fantastic day here in the beautiful woods and down by the river and we found some really yeah. fantastic things absolutely <laughs> we get to see them cleaned but we can't wait i know <laughs> i know i think a favorite finds definitely has to be your bottle yeah i think bottle. that's just really unique we've not found one like that before no i've never in my whole life seen one like that no anywhere no. So, oh and the tiny things as well yeah of course we've got like eye. eye and the game gaming pieces and what have you love those things um but yeah and it's been an absolutely beautiful day birds singing sun shining and it's just been great to have you come along with us as well yeah, so has. thank you and as you can probably hear and see um, summer is definitely here is absolutely well and truly here with a bang so um yeah i think we're going to be out and about more often now yeah um and we're feeling fit that's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we were ill for a few, a few weeks back, mm. as most of you know. So, uh, yeah, anyway, without blabbering on too much, I think on that note, we'll say goodbye and thank you. So a great big thank you to everyone who has watched the video, who has subscribed to our YouTube channel, left a comment below and liked this video. Did I say that? I think so. <laughs> well, just, like yeah. Like it again. Like it again, yeah. Well, don't unlike no, it. No, but... you'll unlike it, yeah. <laughs> Um, and a special thank you to our patrons on Patreon who help to keep us going every month. Thank you so much. We can't tell you how much we appreciate that. And we'll, we'll see, see you again, again next, next week. week. Bye. Bye.